Greetings YouTube and Monster Squad. This video is intended to keep an open dialogue for those in need. I hope that you all know how much I love you and I am so grateful to have your friendships. I decided to make this video to talk about a very difficult topic that has come up in some of my live streams. Life is so many things, but easy is not always one of them. We all have different situations and backgrounds. So, by no means am I the definitive authority on this topic, but I felt the need to open up to you all. Sometimes when we are in difficult situations or have dealt with tragedy, we lose hope in the joy life brings. We can get down on ourselves, lash out at others for the wrong reasons and many other things that can make it all worse. But suicide is not an option. Suicide is not an answer for your problems. In fact, in my opinion, it is the most selfish act anyone can do. The act of suicide can affect the living for the rest of their lives, and it really accomplishes nothing. If you have these thoughts, you need to reach out to someone, even if it's me. I will be there for you. With respect, understand I too have a difficult life, and have to on a daily basis do my best to be my best. You can always contact me through my email that is in the description and my about page. I will also post the National Suicide Hotline number. I beg you to do this if you need to, but also I beg you to not allow your mind to go to this dark place as it will only make matters worse for you. Try to focus on happy moments when you're in difficult times. Try to set goals for yourself and give yourself things to look forward to. Praying can do wonders and hope that you can find peace for your soul. Especially if you're young, you have so much to live for and you have no idea what joys and happy times you would miss if you ended things early. We have a unique opportunity with this YouTube thing to connect to each other, to look out for each other, to care for each other. And I don't know about you all, but seriously, you guys are my friends and family more than I've ever known, and I am so grateful and thankful for you all. Squad, this is our time. Our time to do great, fun, wonderful things. Now, please stay tuned for the scene of my favorite movie, and maybe you'll understand where I'm coming from. After this clip, I will be back to share a close personal story as to why I started my channel in the first place. Love you all. Chester Copperpot! Don't you guys see? Don't you realize? He was a pro! He never made it this far. Look how far we've come. We got a chance. Chance at what, Mikey? Getting killed? Look, if we keep going, someone's really gonna get hurt. Maybe dead. Besides, we gotta get to the police. Maybe Chunk already got to the police. Maybe Chunk is dead. Don't say that! Never say that! Goonies never say die! I'm not a goonie. I want to go home. I forgot. But still, don't you realize? The next time you see Sky, it'll be over another town. The next time you take a test, it'll be in some other school. Our parents, they want the best of stuff for us. But right now they gotta do what's right for them. Cause it's their time. Their time. Up there. Down here it's our time. It's our time down here. That's all over the second we ride up Troy's bucket.
welcome back. Well, here's my story. I started my channel almost a year ago, and only a handful of people know why I decided to actually do this. I'll share that story briefly now with you all. Almost two years ago, my best friend passed away from cancer. When this happened, I was out of touch with him and never got to say goodbye. For a year, I almost couldn't function. Anytime I would go out in public, I would just cry and I couldn't stop. I tried to reach out to other friends that knew him and even family. The response I was given was to move on. No one told me that it was okay to cry, to be angry, to be miserable. They just wanted me to be happy and get over it. They never understood what he meant to me. You see, when we first met, we became instant friends, and it was at a very difficult time in my life. He and his family allowed me in their home, and they cared for me, and gave me the boost I needed to take control of my life. He is the only friend every single year on my birthday that went completely out of his way to make my day special. I have so many fond memories and experiences with him that I can easily close my eyes and remember. I can remember his jokes, his laugh, and how everyone loved him. On the year anniversary of when I found out about my friend, I started streaming. I needed a creative outlet to work out these emotions and to leave something in case anything ever happened to me. My friend would be so proud of what I've accomplished this year and he would approve. I tell you this story so that hopefully you can relate. Hopefully you can find a way to deal with the pain. I never wanted to publicly tell this story because I don't want anyone feeling sorry for me. And I did not want to involve my personal life with Blue. Being Blue has allowed me to be creative and find life fun again. It worked. And I am so thankful to you all for all of your support, for helping me. Remember, you're special, and no one can say it better than, well, stay tuned for this next clip. Thank you all for everything, for watching, for your support. I will see you in the next video. Peace to you all. I love you. There you are, fish. I like giving you some food, too. You are my friend, you are special. You are my friend, you are special to me. You are the only one like you, like you my friend. I like you in the daytime, in the nighttime, any time that you feels the right time for a friendship with me, you see. Can you spell friend? F-R-I-E-N-D, special. You are my friend. You're special to me. There's only one in this wonderful world. You are special. It's not so much what we have in this life that matters. It's what we do with what we have. The alphabet is fine, but it's what we do with it that matters most. Making words like friend and love, that's what really matters. Mm -hmm.